So <laughs> I started my garden tours realizing that I didn't do an introduction. So these videos are going to be out of succession in the way that they were filmed, but I'll have them stitched properly so they kind of flow in an order. Anyways, I figured I should introduce myself. So hi everyone, my name is Jess. I live in Regina, Saskatchewan, which is zone 3B. Uh, our growing season is 120 days, roughly, uh, which means I don't really have a whole lot of time to be growing a whole lot of things. So a lot of my stuff gets started in a grow tent and then transferred outside. Um, I'm growing in two raised beds that are four feet by eight feet by two feet deep. Uh, I'm incorporating a whole bunch of different methods of growing, trying to maximize my space. This year, I added canopies to my beds, which gave me more space to grow vertically um, and to use hanging baskets, which I didn't get to use last year. So that'll be a fun new experiment to try to find out how that's going to go. I'm going to try to grow cucumbers in it across the canopies and see how that works. Because last year with my cucumbers, they got, <clears throat> excuse me, they got a little too humid and developed powdery mildew. So hopefully we're going to try to avoid that this year. Uh, I'm using square foot gardening practices, not necessarily following it to a T. Um, I do have my beds divided up into grids, doing my best to follow the, the suggested amount of plants to plant in a square foot. Um, I did a lot of soil amendments this year to hopefully be able to get more production on vegetables instead of big leafy greens like I did last year. Um, what else can I say? Oh, I started gardening. Well, I grew up with my parents having a garden, not really doing much to contribute to it. Um, then there was one year where my uh, fiance Ian... And I used his grandma's garden to do some gardening. And then we didn't use it the following year. We just kind of didn't really do anything. Life was really busy. Um, and then in January of 2020, I sustained an injury at work. I herniated a disc in my cervical spine. And I was put off of work. So I was off all summer last year. And I came up with the idea of putting garden beds in my backyard to pretty much give me something to do. And now it's it's a hobby, but it probably takes up more of my life than I'd like to admit. Uh, but it's all right. It's fun. It's enjoyable. Um, I know that there's a lot of people who are messaging me who are super exciting that I'm doing these garden tour videos now. Super nervous about doing them. Not really sure if I'm doing them right or if anyone's going to watch them. But that's okay. It'll be nice to have a video log of how the garden progresses instead of just having pictures. Because last year all I did was pictures. And I did them on the first of the month. And so I really only had four like progression pictures of my garden last year. Which is kind of sad when you think about it now because... That's all I have. I just have the pictures. So this year I'm going to be doing some video logs and some garden tours and answering questions if you guys have any. Um, yeah, just doing my best to have fun and enjoy this wonderful hobby that can be challenging and frustrating sometimes, especially if you um, take a look over at my tomato mess right here that I have to deal with once this video is done. Um, yeah, just gonna share what I learn and how things are going and chronicle my failures and my successes and hopefully maybe teach some, some folks here about gardening and yeah, I hope you enjoy. Uh, so without further ado, the next little clip here will be the start of the garden tour in my flower bed out front and my front porch, and then it'll talk about my backyard and the, the very muddy mess that it is right now because we got a lot of rain last week and it was cold, and now it's going to be like 30 degrees by Tuesday, and yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks! Okay, so I guess this is as good as time as ever to do my first garden tour. 
this is my front flower bed. Unfortunately, um, my tomato or my uh, tulips here are a little bit spent. They were beautiful. There's still some that are coming up. These ones are the Queen of the Nights. And I had purchased these. These were the only ones I had in my garden last year. And then I might have gone a little bit overboard planting 80 some bulbs in here. And a lot of them came up. Um, see, these ones got all damaged by the frost that we had. But I mean, they came up early, so they'll be done early. But it was a nice, it was a good show. Uh, what else do I have in here? I have hostas from last year that are coming back that I'm really excited about. I was worried that they weren't going to. And then I have tower lilies because <laughs> I uh, started them inside thinking that I needed to. Um, I clearly did not. Uh, one of them, as you see, has already come and gone with a flower. And this is a black forest hookera and i bought this yesterday to match the one that i have down over there that i bought last year um i had a light colored one here but it didn't make it i actually put it in a pot to see if it would survive and it did not it was very sad um back here along the window are my dahlias so i have three different kinds of dahlias back here um, which <laughs> they're dinner plate dahlias too. So they get to be really big. Um, I've got, oh, what are they? Thomas Edison, Blue Boy, and Chocolate Ruffle. Um, the only one I know is the Chocolate Ruffle because it decided it needed to travel. Hello, Bumblebee. It decided it needed to travel and I'm just kind of <laughs> letting it do what it wants. Oh, I have a Bumblebee. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, he went away. Um, yeah, so then another set of lily towers. My other hookera. And then this hosta, which was chewed on by the rabbits last year, has decided that it is going to come back in full force, and I'm very excited. I do have sunflower seeds here, <laughs> but I planted them when it was cold, so I'm wondering if they'll germinate or not. So we're just waiting to see, which is why you'll see a couple weeds back there. We're waiting to see if the sunflowers come up. Then here, this pot was the one that I had the light color hookera in, and it didn't make it, so now I have an empty pot, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. And then I've got two, oh goodness, two sets of calla lilies here. Um, I believe they're supposed to come up in pink color and like a navy black color. So those will be really pretty. I mean, the leaves are a little bit damaged because we had cold weather and I had to cover them. This is a peony. There's two peonies. They've not broken dormancy yet. I'm a little bit concerned. So... We'll, we'll see what happens with that. Then, if you look up here, I have sweet potato vines. And by the middle of the summer, hopefully they'll drape down and cover the front. And then this pot, I have, this is, I saved the tag because I couldn't remember, a bronze leaf orange canna lily. Then I also have three black forest calla lilies and a whole bunch of Empress of Indian nasturtiums in here. So they're really bright reds. So they're gonna look really nice with the orange. And then I finished up these with black swan called Ocasia. Um, three different kinds of red coleus, and then these are alyssum that I just put in that are hopefully going to spill over. So that one matches that one. You have to excuse my mess. And then I will be putting a pot here, doing an experiment with the Three Sisters garden. But instead of corn, I'm going to do a sunflower. Have the sunflower come up, then have pole beans climb the sunflower, and some sort of squash that I'm probably not going to get any fruit off of but it'll cover it and make it really pretty in through here. 
So yeah, that's the front, and now we can go to the back. All right, so I spared you the tour of the inside of my house, which is fine. Um, I will give you a fair warning that we've had a lot of rain in the last week, so there's a lot of mud back here. Anyways, this is my backyard. So, last year I installed this all by myself, when I probably shouldn't have, but that's fine. Um, it will have to get uh, fixed though because the mud shifted all my tiles, which sucks, but it happens. Anyways, so I need to change my shoes to my boots because this is the walkway through my garden currently. So he'll come in here with me into my lovely garage as I look for my boots here. As you can tell, <clears throat> there's been a lot going on in the garden lately. And yes, I am barefoot in it in my Dunlops, which I'm fine with. All right, so. You're also going to hear a lot of squishy mud, which sucks, but it is what it is. So, this, this is what I'm working with this year. The canopies are new. We built them this year. Um, thankfully, before the price of lumber skyrocketed and it became unmanageable. But anyways, I'm going to tell you what we're growing this year and what the plans are. So... I have potato grow bags. Um, these were just potatoes that I got from the grocery store. They sprouted. So I figured, hey, throw them in some dirt, see what happens. Nothing has come up in this one yet. Um, but if I remember correctly, the sprouts on this one were really small, so I'm giving it a little bit more time. Um, if nothing comes up, I'll probably just throw my ginger in there. Um, these pots here have nasturtium flowers in them. Or they have seeds in them anyways. They haven't come up yet. Um, I have noticed with these, it's hard to keep them damp. Um, and especially it's going to be probably a lot more difficult in the summer, in the heat of the summer. Um... Right now, my endive is super unhappy because it got super wet and it didn't appreciate it. Um, and also I have in this bed. I've got Spanish onions, red onions, white onions, celery over here, four bell peppers. The back row here is planted with some radish, some carrots, uh kale and then I think I have more radish along this side this front row here is not planted because that's where I'm going to put my squash my pumpkins and my watermelon um, and then there's four squares over there that are going to be my eggplants which are downstairs in the grow tent still we have a super short season here so I tried to start as many things as I could inside um which was probably a little bit ambitious, but that's okay. Um, both of the 4x4s here have a type of pea planted around them, and it's going to hopefully climb up the chicken wire all the way up to the top. I think it would be really pretty. These baskets are going to have cucumbers in them, which again, downstairs in the grow tent, I'll be hardening them off this week. Um trying to avoid the majority of the heat that we're supposed to get this week because Saskatchewan likes to have violent fluctuations in temperature because why not so come around here there's more nasturtium seeds that have been planted in there I've got pine berries planted all along there um the plan <laughs> for this is we're going to dig a sump pump you can just ignore the fried strawberries there um, so we plan to build, or to dig a sump hole, because this floods really bad every time it rains. It's terrible, it sucks, it makes it difficult to get around. Um, so the plan is to dig a sump hole, 
right in this area here and then put a pallet walkway in um, which will hopefully also give me a little more space because I have a bunch of tomatoes that I don't know what I'm doing with. Uh, so hopefully we can get the walkway in and then I can plunk my tomatoes along here and Ian, who is my fiance, um, bought a Bergmansia flower today and these things get giant and I don't know where I'm putting it. So hopefully if we can get the pallet walkway done, it'll sit right in here, kind of sort of out of the way, but we'll see because they get big, but they also don't like cold, so they don't survive our winters. So I'm not sure what we're going to do. Anyways, moving right along into the north bed here. So this bed is my tomato bed. Um, my <laughs> tomatoes, I started them very early. I realize now that that was not a smart idea because now I have giant monster tomato plants that I'm not sure what to do with. However, these ones survived the frost, which was nice. There's one of them that didn't, but... I gotta pull it out and deal with it a little bit later. I have spinach planted here. There's nothing in this one yet because I'm gonna put more a different kind of cabbage in there. I got a couple places to plunk some more tomatoes in. And then all along the outside here is planted with a pattern of beets, then carrots, then radish. Um, because I have a bunch of different kinds. I'm trying to do succession planting so that I don't end up with hundreds of them all done at the same time and not able to use them. Uh, what else? We got more peas, two different other kinds of peas planted around these. There'll be more cucumbers and whatnot in there. The goal, hopefully, with planting the cucumbers in the basket, especially if I can maintain the moisture, is that eventually they'll climb up and around the canopy and it'll be really pretty. Uh, yeah. And then this is the bean shelf. So a friend of mine in Ontario, her name is Brittany. She's skunk at a garden party. I think that's still her handle. Um, I can check that for sure and link it. Um, I was talking to her and I was like, man, I just, I want a bean shelf. And I was going to have the bean shelf built out of lumber and then prices skyrocketed and whatnot. So she suggested this shelf off of Amazon. And what is going to happen is these three rows here are going to be my containers of bush beans. And then these three are runner beans. So the goal is to hopefully have the runner beans climb up the shelf and like encase the beans, the bush beans. And I think it'll look really pretty when it's all said and done. But however, everything is seeds right now and also covered in mud. Uh, on the stairs here, I will hopefully have most of my pepper plants, most of my spicy peppers anyways, and my purple bells for sure. Um, yeah, that's more or less it right now. It's still very early in the season. Uh, not a whole lot going on because we're just starting to get nighttime temperatures that are above like freezing because <laughs> it's been very cold here and I was one of those people that bought into the oh it's actually nice out and planted things and then was in and out planted air covering stuff making sure it survived uh, yeah oh and if you're wondering what is back here this is my winter sewing experiment uh, I will probably be doing a video of some sort with a reveal on that, I'm not sure I would do it again, especially for vegetables, maybe for flowers, but it's just so cold here and our season is so short. By the time it starts getting nice enough out for stuff to germinate, it's time to start putting stuff in the ground. So that makes it difficult when you're trying to get a head start using different methods. And yes, I have dirt all over my hands. Um, but yeah, so hopefully next week might look a little bit different. Hopefully it'll look drier anyways, and I'll be able to show you more than just bare dirt. Yeah.
Anyways, I hope you enjoyed me talking about my garden, and I will see you next week.